it's over. After a week of tense votes, a lot has been said about Brexit and its future. But did anything change? Or stay the same? Here's what you need to know. This week consisted of three main votes. On Tuesday, MBs voted on whether or not they wanted to accept Theresa May's deal. Progress has slowed in negotiations with Brussels, and so it's essentially the exact same deal that got voted down last time. The deal was, unsurprisingly, voted down again. Then, on Wednesday, Parliament voted on whether they wanted a Brexit with a no deal or Brexit with a deal. Since most MPs think that Brexit will hurt the UK's economy, the vote swung in favour of a deal. Then, the most important vote of the week. MPs voted on whether or not they wanted to extend Article 50, essentially postpone Brexit until they can get a deal that they agree on. Amendments that called for a second referendum on top of this failed because they were abstained. In the end, Parliament voted for the government's version of an extension. So what happens now? Well, the extension has a few caveats. We won't get it immediately. It will only happen if Theresa May's deal gets voted down again on the 20th of March after further negotiations from Brussels and just less than 10 days away from Brexit's deadline. Labour will also try to find a cross-party solution to Brexit that might include a previously promised second referendum, giving the people a final say on Brexit. However, their plan might be out of step with other opposition parties' plan for a second referendum. So that's what happened this week. Let's see if Theresa May can get her deal passed on the 20th. See you then.